welcome back to old rugged media channel today we're going to be doing another tutorial on video editing using CapCut. CapCut. CapCut is a software uh, very easy to use and what we're going to be trying today is how to auto generate captions or subtitles for a speech a sermon or something maybe a video just a video where you want to create subtitles so let's get started so what i want to do first is to of course uh, open CapCut, click on the software. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to a direct download of this software. So once this is here, you want to uh, just click on start creating. Start creating and you have it here. So uh, what I just, I mean the easiest way to just start off is get your file explorer where video is. Something like this. Uh, click on the video and drag it into this space. And drop it there um, that's that so basically um, I'm going to be using this speech from someone I highly respect a neurosurgeon dr. Benjamin Carson so uh, this is just a very short video so what you want to do is it's very simple very straightforward so just go up here this side here where you have text this click on it now as you click on it um, just to the left you can see something here called auto captions Click on auto captions of course change it from chinese to english or french i mean whatever language you want these are the more popular languages so just click on english if that's what you want to generate and uh, click on create now before you do that this video uh, before now here you can change the orientation now this video originally was in this format i mean let me show you what i mean it was in this kind of format you see that but however i changed it before starting this video so let's assume it's this it's this way you just come here and click on i mean it depends on what you want you can put the subtitle just in the middle of the uh in the middle of the video here or you can have it in this format this um 9 by 16 this way but let me revert to what i had before so if you click on 9 by 16 you're going to have something like this actually you're going to have something like this it's going to add like a black space up here and black space up. this blank space beneath and this blank space up here you can use them for whatever it is you want you can put the title or of the video here and you can put the subtitle here so i'm going to click on create how long a video is that will determine how long this creating auto captions will take mine is just 14 seconds so we should be done in a few seconds yes all right so um it's create it has created it now so what we want to do now is this we are going to because i've seen a number of videos that have uh, very interesting captions it's like they just auto generate it and do not edit it so part of what we're going to be doing is to edit our caption so uh you can start like this uh let's drag it over here so now come to this um, top right here go to click on caption but before you do that let's change the font size remember that we already created this black background uh, this black space here so you can increase the size of the text this way and um you if you want to uh, maximize this cap cut, try to be connected to the internet to have uh, because there's there are some presets that are not that don't come directly with the software you have to download them so um opacity this one has to do with uh, you know the uh how transparent or how opaque it is scale uh, you can make it just this so let's go to okay these are stroke background i mean you can change it depending on what you want so let me click on this one now this is for if you want to put the caption on the video itself but let's just leave it as simple as we want it to be now this one here you see font you can come here and uh, uh this one is font size now you can come here and just click on this now as you can see this uh, arrow with a, uh, a bar beneath it it's just uh, it just means that you need to download this font now let me go to one of the fonts i've used recently okay i can find let me just download something uh just look for a font you like and download it so let me see let's just pick one of them so depending on the text you want just pick anyone and um, bear in mind that some texts come in only uppercase so uh, here we have this so now you can go from text to text to see what has been uh auto generated you have to check just check if it is if it is correct if it is not correct you can double click on this 
uh please here remember we are up here in captions uh segment so just double click on it then here let's assume he said uh having or you know it's auto generated so it's ai so if the ai didn't understand the context of what he was saying you can change this to uh having if you if you think that's what he said and as you can see it changes here automatically but if you think it's correct just leave it like that so you have to go through i believe you should go through your captions one by one it might be a bit uh, cumbersome or stressful to do but that's the price of creating something that is appropriate so you go from uh one two like that like that maybe depending on sentences then you edit uh now this one has a lot of uh a lot of medical terminologies so bear with it so pneumothoraces you think it's did it didn't spell it well you can edit it like that like that and then there you have it so you can just play around when you are done when you're done with it uh you can come back here and just play around whatever it is you want this is bubbles i mean anything you feel like you want to use but again we are just trying to keep it simple here but you can download things like this from here download now as you can see those that icon to download these presets are there so basically that's it and when you are done you go to menu go to file and export so when you click on export it will of course bring out these settings you don't have to click on export media and so export audio that will just export an extra audio for you so 720 choose your resolution you can put it to 720 480 depending on what you want but look at this bottom side here the estimated size and the duration it will use to render it and then you uh just be sure now i'm assuming that what you are trying to create you're trying to create it for social media so if it is something like instagram this orientation will be good so you click on export it will ask you to i mean it will export for you and then um yeah so i think your first time when you're exporting the first time it's going to ask you where you want to export to like an export folder all right that marks the end of the video thank you very much for stopping by and watching this tutorial to the end uh, do like comments drop questions beneath uh, in the in the comment section and i'll endeavor to answer them uh, thank you very much keep creating and have a good time Bye.